Hey, linear algebra students. <laughs> linear algebra? No, differential equations. But we're doing some linear algebra. We want to find some eigenvalues and eigenvectors. To find the eigenvalues, we want the determinant of a minus lambda i to be equal to 0. We're writing this in matrix form. I'm using the straight lines to indicate we're just taking a determinant of a 1 minus lambda, 5, 3, 3 minus lambda, which will be 1 minus lambda times 3 minus lambda minus 15. We do some work with this, multiplying it out, what we will get is lambda squared minus 4 lambda minus 12 equals 0, which factors as lambda minus 6 times lambda plus 2 equals 0. Our eigenvalues are lambda equals negative 2 and positive 6. All right, for each one of those eigenvalues, we have to find an eigenvector. Let's focus in on lambda equals 6 first. It's the easier case. We want ax equals 6x. That's the eigenvector eigenvalue equation, also written as a minus 6i times x equals 0. Let's rewrite that in matrix form. Here's A. We're subtracting 6 on the main diagonal. So that would be the 1 and 3 positions here. So 1 minus 6 is minus 5. We have a 5. Then we have a 3. Then we have a 3 minus 6. That's negative 3. We're solving for x1 and x2, we want to get 0. Let's rewrite these as equations. And as I'm doing this, I want you to note something. Both of these are really the same equation. Divide this by 3, divide that by negative 5. You will get the same equation. Or another way of saying that x1 equals x2. That's important. Every time you go through this process, you should be able to say what some variables are in terms of another. You'll never say x1 equals 3 and x2 equals 7. What's our eigenvector? Well, we know we have to have something along the form of x2, x2. We factor out an x2. We can turn that into 1, 1. That vector right there is our eigenvector. It's the eigenvector corresponding to 6. Let's do that again. And let's do that with the other eigenvalue. So now we have lambda equals negative 2. So we've got a minus a negative 2 times i times x equals 0. So we're going to be subtracting negative 2, or actually adding 2, to the numbers on the diagonal. So we will have 3, 5, 3, 5. Hey, same equation. x1, x2 equals 0, 0. If you rewrite this, you get 3x1 plus 5x2 equals 0. Or x1 equals negative 5 thirds x2. So if we write out what x is, we're going to have minus 5 thirds x2, and then just x2 down here. Or another way of writing that, x2 times negative 5 thirds, comma, 1. And I'm about to circle it. That's your eigenvector. Great. We found the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of that matrix.